to another episode of Fast the Attorney. I'm your host, Alex Alexander from Client Focus Media. Today, I'm excited to bring John Prochstein from the law office of John Michael Prochstein at jmpattorney.com. Welcome, John. How are you today? Good afternoon. I am doing fine. Good to be here. Excellent. And good afternoon to you, Sue, sir. So let's just jump right in today. Uh, you know, I've been to your website, and uh, and obviously we, we talked a little bit about uh, what you're specialized in. And one of the, the primary things uh, that, that came forward is uh, you are actually uh, a, a, mediation, a mediating attorney, or are you into mediation? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, this is all about alternative dispute resolution. Uh, and this is particularly important in light of what's been happening with the pandemic, COVID-19, and the shutdown of courts. There has been a tremendous backlog that has been going on. And when the courts reopen, this backlog will continue. And alternative dispute resolution has been around in, for many, many years. It takes the form of arbitration, mediation, neutral evaluation, private judging is just another way to describe it. Uh, but it's an alternative form. And because every dispute will not be resolved eventually by a court action, litigants, parties, uh, should examine alternative dispute resolution. And one of these that the courts have been emphasizing uh, and actually uh, asking the parties to consent to is mediation. Uh, mediation is a device where a mediator acts as a neutral party and tries to bring the parties to a settlement. The mediator does not take a position, but tries to utilize the party's uh, uh, willingness to compromise and get into some sort of settlement to avoid a court. So, I mean, basically what you're saying is, you know, uh, litigation at this point is like the last resort. What, what, what you're trying to do is accomplish, uh, you know, selling the case now rather than worry about it going into backlog for months, even longer, uh, probably more like years coming coming forward. W what would be uh, some of the, the kinds of, of mediation you've done in the last few months, uh, I guess, last year or so? Okay. Uh, mediations that I have, I have performed mediations not only as a mediator, as well as arbitrations, uh, but also as an advocate. Um, I have advocated uh, for uh, many claimants uh, uh, in the Eastern District of New York on employment discrimination claims. Uh, the Eastern District has set up a program where uh, pro se litigants who are filing uh, their employment discrimination claims can attempt to reach some sort of settlement with the employer they have sued through a mediation program. And the court assigns uh, an advocate uh, to uh, assist that uh, litigant during the mediation process. I'm also appointed as a mediator in various civil cases uh, from New York City uh, Small Claims Court, as well as various Supreme Courts. Uh, the small claims courts are primarily uh, civil matters uh, that can be resolved if the litigants are willing to compromise on their claims, as well as personal injury lawsuits, where uh, the parties and the insurer will uh, uh, consent to a litigation, to a mediation, excuse me. And in that respect, we will attempt to try and resolve the dispute. So just as, as a question, uh, as a layman individual, uh, so if you are, a, let's say it's a PI case, a personal injury court, a case, and uh, you are the, uh, you're the mediator, is there, is there ever a time when they say, when you, do you sign anything that says, okay, if we're going into mediation or arbitration, uh, that we have to accept whatever is found here, or, and we, we don't ever take it to court, or is, there, is that an open-ended option, or is that a closed-ended option? You're talking about two different things. Mediation is different than arbitration. In arbitration, the result, there will be a conclusion and there will be a decision. And that arbitration, absent fraud, you know, uh, duress, undue influence, et cetera, arbitrary capricious, will be upheld. That is an arbitration. Uh, arbitrations that I have uh, been the arbitrator on, yes, I have issued a, a decision. Uh, or I'm an arbitrator on a panel, and the three of us have decided to issue a decision which will be conclusive and binding. A mediation is something different. Uh, what is said in a mediation uh, is never revealed later on. Uh, the mediation is an attempt 
to reach a settlement. The mediator takes no position, issues no decision at all but tries by exploring the party's interests and wants, desires, et cetera, and willingness to compromise to try and get the parties to reach a settlement. Excellent. I, I want to thank you for actually bringing that forward, right? So it was pretty, people have a, a misconception or a, a lack of understanding, as, if I, as I did, about the difference between the two. I also want to thank everybody out there for tuning into this episode of Ask the Attorney. Uh, if, if you'd like to learn more about John Probstein from... Uh, the offices of John Michael Probstein, of course, jmpattorney.com. Go to his website and or right here at iwantabuzz.com. Do something good for yourself and do something good for others.